Hi. See engineer allows you in the results to evaluate the stresses in 1D members. And if you evaluate the stresses, then you get the maximum stress of the cross section, or you can say on the top and bottom and so on. But sometimes it's necessary that you know the exact stress in some point of your cross section. Maybe you have some rib or some complicated steel section and you need, for example, for welds or something else, the stresses in defined point of cross sections. And this is the topic of this video. My name is Ivan Beles and I am support engineer for SIA and IDEA Statica. Now we are in C engineer and I have a very simple example. One is with a steel cross section and one is with some combined cross section from steel and concrete plate. And the goal is to evaluate the stresses in some defined point. For example, I have this cross section and I would like to evaluate the stresses here in this, in this point or Let's let's go to the to this rib and say I would like to have the stresses huh? here. Oh, not working. No issue. Okay, here in this point. So, and what should we do? If you go to the standard results, you can go to the uh, where I have stresses. Okay, <laughs> this is the standard. Standard setting, uh, 1D members, stresses, and go here. Oh, it's there already. So then let's check. Aha, it's here. Okay, let's let's move it. So we have 1D stresses, and uh, let's say from load case, load case 2. If we check the load case, is simple line load. And what can we do? For example, the share stress. Uh, we can see we can see the stresses in all fibers. That means the maximum from the full cross section or top and bottom. Uh, but I would like to see it in one defined point. How you can do it? You go to the library, to the cross section library, and select this one. Go to edit. I have already defined one of these points, but I, I can delete it. So there are these fibers and parts and I can go to the edit named items. So I have defined it for this point. So you can change the size, for example, make it smaller. So I have defined this N14. Let's say I would like to have it in this point. This is N28. So and if you want to have the stress is here, then you go to this point, to this three dot symbol, change the name, let's say N28, it doesn't matter, it's only, only, uh, it's only a text. Okay, then it's defined N28 and after the recalculation, so we have to calculate the results again and then we will be able to show the results in this point. So what, how you can do it? You go to the stresses and fibers to named fiber, change the name to this N28 and click on refresh. You get your results. So that's very simple. Let's repeat it for this cross section. Control J, go to this one, edit. I have defined it for this point. Go to these fibers and parts. And let's say I would like to have it in this point. And this is point two. Create a new named item and two. It's a fiber, that's okay. You can do it also for a cross section part where you can evaluate the maximum stresses for one part, for example, for some additional checks. So it's N2. We have to again to recalculate the structure. It's quick. 
Okay. Then go to the stresses, named fibers. Usually it's all named fibers. Change to N2 and refresh. And then you get, get the stresses on the top of this steel section. So it's the shear stress in this in this example. So that was very quick. Thank you very much.